This is a question for heat marks. How is ammonia manufactured by Haber's process? Explain the reaction of ammonia with ZnSO4, copper sulfate and AgCl. Manufacture of ammonia by Haber's process. For that, first you have to go with the reactions. How the ammonia can be prepared by Haber's process. So N2 on reacting with H2, half heated arrows, it gives 2 moles of NH3. And for that one, delta H is equal to negative. That is minus 92 kilojoules. Now, as this reaction shows that it is a half heated arrow means reversible and delta H negative means exothermic. So, we have to write by seeing this reaction, we have to write in Haber's process N2 gas plus means reacts with or combine with H2 gas. and gives rise to ammonia see the reaction which is which we wrote there same by seeing the reaction we have to write the statement then what the reaction says it is having a half heated arrow that means it is an reversible process it is an reversible process you can see delta H equal to negative means it is a exothermic process See, delta H equal to minus negative means exothermic process. Then, again we can add one more point here that during the formation of ammonia, uh, this reaction, it proceeds only on forward direction. How? I'll show you. See, these reactions, it proceeds with a decrease in volume. But a decrease in volume means you can see N2 is 1 and H2 is 3. See, so total how many 4 is there on the reactant side and product side made 2. That means we can say 4 volume of the reactants gives 2 volume of the product. So formation of product shows decrease in volume. So this reaction proceeds with a decrease in volume. Then Next point we have to write, according to Lee Chartier principle, means we have to apply the Lee Chartier principle here. According to Lee Chartier principle, favorable conditions, favorable conditions for formation of ammonia is means if we follow these conditions for the formation of ammonia we are getting a large or more amount of the ammonia so what is the condition first one low temperature that is 450 to 500 degrees celsius then high pressure that is 200 to 900 atmospheric pressure then catalyst we know during the formation of ammonia by Haber's process the catalyst should be finely divided Fe powder iron powder and molybdenum is the promoter should be used here finely divided iron powder and molybdenum is a promoter or we can use alumina as a catalyst or we can use alumina as a catalyst now see the first part we completed where manufacture of ammonia can be done by Haber's process this is the first part completed then we have to go with the second part that means second part we have to write the process means how the ammonia can be prepared a okay, process so in the process we have to start with the first point called as a compressor so what will happen in the compressor 
so we have to write in the comparison n2 and h2 gas that is one volume of n2 and three volume of h2 they combining and form the ammonia and this come this this gas can combine only in the compressor so we have to write here a mixture of n2 and h2 in the ratio of 1 is to 3 volume is compressed to 200 to 900 atmospheric pressure then the compressed gas is sent to ammonia converter right this mixture of n2 h2 in the ratio of 1 is to 3 by volume compressed by 200 to 900 atmospheric pressure then this compressed gas is sent to ammonia converter where ammonia converter in this ammonia converter number 2 the compressed gas enters into enters into catalytic chamber and gives ammonia so this compressed gas enters into catalytic chamber and gives ammonia catalytic chamber or the catalyst is but because in the catalytic chamber we are having at least so catalyst is maintained at 450 to 500 degree centigrade so it will be maintained at that particular temperature the product that is ammonia form and the unreacted gases that is h2 and n2 which is left here so the product and the unreacted gases mixture are passed into the condenser that is the product and the unreacted gases are passed into the condenser. Now the third point in the process that is the condenser. What will happen in the condenser? So the obtained product that is ammonia and unreacted gas we are passing into the condenser. So in the condenser now, here NH3 that is ammonia gas is cooled and liquefied because the obtained gas and the unreacted gas when we are passing into the condenser in that one among that all only ammonia gas will be cooled and liquefied this condensed the condensed ammonia it will be called as a liquor liquor ammonia And it is filled into the cylinder. There is obtained gas which is condensed. That liquid ammonia or called liquor ammonia. It is filled into the cylinder under pressure. Filled into the cylinder under pressure. Next one. Because we wrote the three steps here till now. The next one. We have to start about if the any moisture is present in the ammonia gas then how it can be removed so the moisture present in ammonia may be removed 
by using quick lime. It can be removed by using a quick lime. The moisture present in the ammonia removed by using quick lime that is CAO. But the ammonia cannot be dried by concentrated H2SO4 anhydrous CaCl2 P2O5 or P4O10 that is dimer of P2O5 because it reacts with the ammonia and it gives product. It reacts with these reagents. Right? So this is the second part of the process. See what first part we wrote manufacture. Then second part we wrote the process. Right? Now we have to see the chemical property. How does it react with the following three? How does it react with the following three? That is chemical properties. How does this ammonia react with the following? Actually, ammonia it is in the form of gas. We have to make the solution to make it to, re to react with the following compound. So how ammonia gas can be passed it over the water and it gives ammonium hydroxide. These obtained ammonium hydroxide can be reacted with the following reagent which is given there. First one ZnSO4. So zinc sulfate on reacting with ammonia, aqueous solution of ammonia called as what? NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide and gives zinc hydroxide plus ammonium sulfate. You can balance it better. Ammonium taken two times, OH taken two times. Put the two on the NH4OH side. By seeing this one, we can write the statement also. Zinc sulfate reacts with ammonium hydroxide It gives precipitate of zinc hydroxide. So zinc sulfate react with ammonium hydroxide. It gives precipitate of zinc hydroxide. Second one, it is combining with the copper sulfate. Same way, CuSO4 reacting with the solution of ammonia that is NH4OH. It gives complex. That is Cu ammonia taken four times sulfate, but the remaining is the water. So by balancing four mole of NH4OH, so statement we have to write copper sulfate reacts with ammonium hydroxide, reacts with ammonium hydroxide. It gives complex and third one reaction of this ammonia with silver chloride AgCl. So same way AgCl on reacting with aqua solution of ammonia that is NH4OH it also gives rise to complex that is AG, ammonia taken two times, square bracket and this counter ion is a Cl plus H2. So statement again, silver chloride reacts with ammonium hydroxide and gives, reacts with ammonium hydroxide and gives complex no need to write the name of the complex and all so see overall for getting eight months how to write but the first part is manufacture of ammonia by habers then process that is a compressor 
ammonia converter condenser and third one write the chemical properties overall if you write up to here it will be coming for 8 marks right thank you